people watching this and welcome back to another video so today i'm building a tiny house for the sims 4 university <clears throat> so i wanted to build this tiny house because i feel like you should be able to afford college so with this tiny house you have a lot of remaining funds to help you pay for college so you don't have student loans which is a thing in this game, which is kind of cool. I like the aspect of it kind of being like real life. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to build this like little quaint home for one sim. I made, I pretty much made it gender neutral. I mean, it's all grays and whites. It's kind of boring, but you could add color to it, you know, like pretty easy, especially if you get like a part-time job, which that's impossible while you're at university because just more stressed about your classes but I wanted to make a short video today because I'm very bad at voiceovers so until I can talk for a full five minute period I am not going to build a big house because that's just nonsense why would I do that it I also sped it up like I normally would and it was going really fast it would have been over in like two minutes so I was like you know what? I'll slow it down a bit so I can have some time to talk so, how's your day been? My day has been good. Um, I had softball. About killed me. And uh, I already, I've already made a video today. I made a video of playing University Life. Um, if this video isn't up... No, this video, this video might go up before then. But, um, I will leave a link of Discover University Part 1 with me in the description if you want to check that out. That didn't make any sense because I don't make any sense, which is okay because not everybody makes sense if that made any sense to you, which it didn't me, so shouldn't have made sense to you. But, um, so I'm doing the landscape, which I'm terrible at. As you can tell, I put two trees and typing in bb.moveobjects on, which is the best cheat in the world. But, yeah. Ugh. Okay, looking back, I did terrible. Ugh. I wish I didn't do that. But, that little bump out on the side is the bathroom. And you have your little pathway. I think I, I put a mailbox. I didn't put a trash can, which I should have. But you can add that, I'm sure. And, um, <clears throat> I wanted to add a little seating outside so when the welcome wagon comes, you have somewhere for them to sit, but I just wanted some nice wooden floors. I like the wooden look. I thought carpet would be weird because why have carpet when you could have wood? Yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> but um, I've been having a lot of fun with Discovery University. It's kind of different compared to like university life and. Um, University in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. I don't know if you could go to University in The Sims 1. I think that would be pretty interesting. I have only played The Sims 1 like a bunch of times, but it was not the complete version. I was just playing the regular one, which I love The Sims 1. If I could play it on here, I would. I wish I could. Just have to figure out how to do it, but just getting done with the bathroom. I'm sorry I keep getting off topic, but I just like to ramble on about mindless things that make sense to me but yeah I just wanted to add those cute little pictures of the elephant and the dinosaur because dinosaurs are cute but they're also dead so it's kind of sad and blue is kind of a sad color but I like blue so it's okay so that little desk in the corner I thought that was a little cute area to have a desk because you know, you're living in a really compact space, and the space feels kind of open because I leave that uh, space in the middle just kind of open. I think I put a rug, but it just kind of feels airy even though you're more compact. And I wanted those big windows at the top because I wanted to be able to feel like people aren't watching you because you're kind of, you're not in the middle of campus, but I'm sure a lot of people walk around, you know, to just go out and about and so I just wanted to have that little feel there oh and there's me just 
placing a bunch of flowers. Yeah, we're gonna keep all those, just so you know. And then I lost the, sh the freaking nightstand. I shouldn't have done that. I'm a Riri. But it's okay, because everybody's a Riri. I also wanted to add a bookshelf in, which I add that right beside the bed, I think, about nearing the time. And I just thought that was so cool. I don't know why. I love to put those words in the kitchen, the ones that came with Dine Out, because makes me feel fancy and I feel like it'd be really easy to do like sort of in real life as a decoration because you could just go online and get those little sticker letters so I feel like it'd be cheap for a like dorm room-esque and I really think that they should have put bunk beds in this because don't some universities have bunk beds you know when that makes sense maybe they'll add like a generations expansion pack and we can have bunk beds then like we did in The Sims 3, but it's okay. Generations was my favorite. But we are nearing the end, and uh, oh yeah, I thought those, like, like a teenager would have those on the wall that don't really make any sense, but they just think they're cool and awesome. But I am going to leave right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, guys.